Highnesses, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to be here and to introduce you to the world's first global manufacturing summit. Change is in the air. It is driven by technological innovation and is heading towards us at great speed. It is happening in industry and is shaking up countries and their societies. Around the globe, people are streaming into cities and crossing international boundaries in search of opportunities with this rapidly changing job market. It is rattling the old order. Countries where migrants come from are getting stripped of valuable human capital. The mass migration has strategy written all across it. Many die in their desperation to find a new life. Others get rounded up and deported back to the world they wanted to escape from. The human toll is heavy. Cutting across is an ever deepening gap between rich and poor. And from the deepest pockets of poverty springs terrorism as the greatest menace of our time. Our lives are getting shaken up by the revolutionary changes in technology. At the touch of a button, we are able to talk to each other from all corners of the world. Transportation itself has become a commodity. Countless people travel across continents and oceans in ever-mounting waves. It is what now makes us talk of this planet we inhabit as a global neighborhood where physical boundaries cease to exist. Technology is changing the factory floor. Machines are doing work that was once done by people. They are producing more things faster than humans. And it raises the question, is it a double-edged sword? Should we trade jobs for a better life in which we pay less for more? The vulnerable are those who are less skilled. They find themselves competing against machines. This could lead to more poverty, more migration, more mistrust, and more unrest and conflict. That is the present we live in, not the future we aspire for. Coming at us now is a new revolution. Some say it is already upon us. We see it in the form of self-driving cars, self-learning machines, and self-producing 3D printers. This technological revolution has accelerated leaps and bounds ahead of what the human mind can fathom. And we realize this is just the beginning. We do not know where this is taking us. It is a nature of innovation to breed innovation. And all we can say for certain is that it is going to disrupt the world we live in. And there is nothing we can do to stop it. The future is exciting. That is why we are here today in Abu Dhabi, the capital of the United Arab Emirates. We have brought leaders from governments, businesses, and society to jointly map out the way ahead. And high among our priorities will have to be the challenge of restoring global prosperity in a world of uncertainty. A new generation is rising to the challenge. They march to a new drumbeat. They are the youth, the next generation of men and women that will drive manufacturing towards an unpredictable future. One that carries hope for the young, for the poor, for the migrant, and most importantly, for our planet. We must rethink education. We must reconsider the way that we do business. And we must be prepared for a major adjustment, socially, economically, and politically. We must expect a new lifestyle that empowers our youth to make a positive difference to our world. And the apparatus, simply put, will be the outcome from the seamless integration of technology and manufacturing. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world's first global manufacturing and industrialization summit.